all know if you watched it, my mouth was like. I mean, in real life, I just want to be. I just want to be a content creator. And I ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Five fifty on the five sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? Mommy, are you praying? Yes. What do okay. I do with my arm? God got you. You can just put them here. Right. Amen. finish my job. want to book with me um you can book me i'm on instagram at kennedy body, <laughs> body fix with two x's the link is in my bio um i'm available all the time so book with me in
Oh, what's up, boo things? I'm Nicole, also known as Call It Cole. If you're new and you stumbled across the channel, over here we do a little bit of hair, a little bit of makeup. We do quite a few hauls, but most of all, we do a whole lot of living. It's a lifestyle channel. If that's your vibe, click the button. Boo things, new day, new week, new vlog. Hope you like the little <laughs> back crack, neck crack situation that we had going on. That was Tisha. Y'all know Tunde, my brother's friend. He's been in a bunch of vlogs. That was his fiance, certified chiropractor here in Houston. I never knew that I needed it until I got it because my neck shoulder situation feels 100% better. It's just not as tight. So I feel like I'm going to be getting it. She said she recommended at least once a month for nurses. So I can, I can honestly tell the difference, but anyway, we got to go to the airport because we got to go back into the ghetto. But the plane is already delayed, so. If you're trying to tell me some God, if you're trying to tell me keep my ass at home and figure out my life here in Houston, just say that, Lord. Just say that. Because <sighs> I want to go to L.A. and make this money, but I want to stay at home. I want to be on my couch. I want to sleep in my bed. I want to drink out of my own coffee cup. But anyway, our Uber should be pulling up, so let's go. Away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself. The good thing is we literally have I got 12 12 more shifts 12 more shifts <laughs> which is the equivalent of three weeks we finish September 10th and then we go back home game plan is I mean in real life I just want to be I just want to be a content creator and I just want to stay at home and make a living with my camera and talking to y'all and never have to leave Houston unless I'm on a vacation that I want to be going on and hopefully with somebody's son. But what I'm trying to say is the game plan when we go back in three weeks is to work at my job at home in Houston because Candace's birthday is in October. My birthday is in November. Thanksgiving is in November. And then we have Christmas and New Year's. So ideally... Elb and I don't want to be on contract anywhere because we would have to request all of this time off. Can y'all see me? Because I can't tell. I feel like it's going in and out. If it's going in and out, I apologize. Like, is it blurry? I'm sorry. We want to be at home, basically. So... That's the newest update. Um, besides work, I'm old. Work is kicking my... I know. What is it doing? I feel like it's going blurry. Hold on. What are you doing? I don't like that. I'm old. Work has been kicking my behind, and you are going in and out of focus. So. 
Sony ZV-1. Cross-eyed. Don't know what the hell it want to focus on. This air won't shut up. And all I'm trying to do is tell y'all that I'm old. I had to purchase this BioFreeze because I'm old. These 12-hour shifts, I don't even know how to explain it. These 12-hour shifts at this particular hospital are like something I've never experienced in my 15 years. Like, I don't, I don't get it. They, the staff is great. Are you still doing it? The staff, if I'm looking, I'm trying to look in my, whatever this is over here. I can see myself to tell if it's going in and out of focus because it's really driving me crazy right now. Anyway, the staff, nurses are great. No complaints whatsoever about the staff. But the unit, it's just facts. One plus one is not equaling two. That's at the end of the day. They have way too many patients like and they don't have enough nurses they don't have enough nurses they don't have enough rooms it's more patients than it is nurses and it is rooms point blank period so you, you find yourself running around like crazy the entire 12 hours because you go from patient to patient to patient room to room and or trying to take care of your own stuff trying to help Ebony with her stuff, trying to be helpful with anybody else when you can be, my feet be burning, my shoulder be hurting. And I checked my watch the other day when I got off work and I had 12, I had over 12,000 steps. I worked 12 hours. That's a thousand steps an hour at least. I feel like it was something like six miles. I don't like it. It's the motherfucking ghetto. Sorry, mama. Not lady like I know. But it's the motherfucking ghetto. And I'm over it. <laughs> so. I'm uploading a new video today. What's today? I didn't even tell you. Today's Sunday. I don't know. We still in August. August 21st. It's the vlog from last weekend when we were at home. And I told you guys that ghosts had went on to the upper room if you haven't watched it please go back watch it like thumbs up comment share on your social media tell a friend so i can become a full-time content creator and live and work from home all right me and Elba about to go do something i don't know what i don't know where outside these four walls because we let we worked the past four days so we flew back from houston on Tuesday and then we worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, first day off and then we go back to work tomorrow. We went to Walmart last night when we got off work, did our regular grocery shopping. I didn't even have my camera. I'm pretty sure y'all didn't want to see me get the same um, mini refrigerator accessible things and yes I did. I shoved it all in the refrigerator per usual and drunk wine and went to bed and here we are so oh I did my laundry this morning you know gotta have clean drawers to start the new week and I don't know why when we went home last week I took my dirty clothes home in my bag and clearly I left my comfortable bras because in real life, I really don't have two that I actually really like. I left my home. So I have a work bra, a strapless bra, and this, which is like the, I don't even know, racer back bra. So there's that. So that's going to drive me crazy. And I uh, just got this little green dress on gonna put a slide on and we're gonna go because I'm over this there you go. uh uh what the you can look at that uh uh it's more like a pimple it's not monkey pox it's not monkey pox if you got monkey pox breath that what you and me go been doing <laughs> 
nerd. <laughs> How I think? <laughs> yeah. I was all ready to be aesthetic and cute and stuff with the spot. And it went down here from the second we walked in the door. Reservation was for 4.15. We got there probably like, what, 3.55? Mm -hmm. We had to wait. And when we got there, the reservation, Ebony didn't know it, but the reservation was for inside. But El walked in and it said, we have a reservation. Can we sit outside? Because the girl said, you have to sit outside to smoke hookah. Girl said, fine. Another couple came in. They smoking hookah, that couple that she sat outside. Anyway, another couple came in. And we had just heard her tell somebody else, on Saturday and Sundays, it's reservation on, only. This couple come in, and they say they don't have a reservation, but they want to sit outside. She sat them. I didn't hear all this. Evan heard all this because she got like a superhero ears. Sat them, and we still waited about 10, 15 minutes after she sat them for our table. Then she comes and say, okay, I can seat y'all. And she proceeds to want to sit us inside. I stood up and Ebony is still sitting in the chair where we was waiting at. So I told her outside. And the girl comes back over there and Eb says. And proceeds to get the policy. What did she say? Um, so when you make reservations online, we're not in control of the tables. So when you booked it, it was it it booked for inside, and so normally we're not able to accommodate changing the table. And I was unaware that it was booked for the uh, inside. Ma'am, it's fucking empty in here. I just in heard you tell to... the people that you couldn't seat them because your servers were behind. It's fucking empty. In addition to Ebony had said outside because we want to smoke hookah when we walked in. And you said okay. So if that was an issue, you should have said it then. Anyway, we sat outside in this little corner. There should have been a walkway on the patio. How long did we wait before somebody bought some water? About 10 minutes. Mind you, I told you we got there about 3.55. At 4.46, I still did not have an alcoholic beverage. And this is after we were seated and ordered it. And then they bought us about this much of a sidecar in a glass. <sighs> and then everybody around us had issues with their food. The table beside us just told they waited. Y'all, y'all awful. Y'all ain't about shit today. Every time I come, y'all got a new excuse. Mm-hmm. They had no bags. What else did they didn't have that some people they had ordered? They shrimp and grits was dry. They asked for extra sauce, and he there were three orders of shrimp and grits, and I already knew at the table. The, the shrimp and grits was on the brunch menu, and y'all got dry shrimp and grits because they were out of sauce. And they proceeded to bring you this sauce in this one saucer for three bowls of shrimp and grits. And they was like, she said, oh, we're gonna need two more of those because we got three orders. And he said that was the last of the sauce. It's fucking sauce. How long does it take to whip up sauce? You can't do sauce. Another table, we seen them bring two plates. Them same plates got returned back to the kitchen. So for that reason, all them reasons, we not gonna put them on the channel. Now, if you find them, you end up there yourself. Go with your own cost. And now we flying down the interstate. I don't know where my Uber driver taking me to, but we'll be back. That's concerning if you don't know where your Uber driver's taking you. Gonna be sold into a uh, sex slave. Sex trafficking? Yeah, same thing. Slave traffic. Goodbye. Back in the room. Um, we haven't seen y'all since we left the restaurant. We didn't. First off, it took us forever to find somewhere to go after we left the restaurant. It was something on y'all. Um, it took us forever to find somewhere to go. LA is weird. Like, I don't want to keep saying it's weird because I don't want to deter anyone from who wants to visit the city from coming. It's just really hard to find, I guess, the expectation is what you is what we get in Houston. And we can't keep comparing 
Houston to everywhere else in the States because we're biased because one, we live there. Clearly, if we live there, we love there. But honestly, if you break it down, if you do a list of pros and cons, and that list is also biased because it's dependent upon, trust me, it ain't nobody's son, it's Ebony. When you do a list of pros and cons, it's biased because uh, it's all about what you like. Like, we, we have yet to find somewhere in L.A. that gives us what we can freely find in Houston, which is somewhere that has... <laughs> The brown people, the African American culture. I'm gonna get good music. I'm gonna get good food. I'm gonna get an open bar, and I'm gonna get some hookah. Like we have yet to find that in LA in one place. Like it's one or the other. Like you get good food, semi good food, and or you get hookah, but you don't get the food. You don't get the music. You don't get the vibes. So you got to go to one place to eat and another place to get the other stuff. Whatever. I don't live here. I don't plan. I don't plan on ever living here unless Drake and I get married. Okay? So it's not that fucking important, but it's annoying. So the spot that we went to is a spot that I have previously went to um, since we've been in L.A. So we went to Sky Lounge. If you're interested, I have a playlist. I have multiple playlists, but you know. <laughs> if you want to catch up, go and look at the um, L.A. playlist in um, Sky Lounge. We went there. And now it is... It's 9.45. I've taken my melatonin. I've taken my ashwagandha because ashwagandha is supposed to calm you, relax you. All other things. So I took that, I took my melatonin, and it was a recommendation from my good girl, Nicole C. If y'all don't know her, she has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. Which I take melatonin, I, no. I took my Unisom, I took my Ashwagandha, which was a recommendation from my good friend, Nicole C. If y'all don't know her, go check her out here on YouTube. She has a channel. Go watch. If you like, subscribe, a notification bell, comment. Um, but I take that at home. Like, I take my Unisom and my Ashwagandha at home. Like, I take it at nighttime. It tells you to take two. It tells you to take four total. Two in the morning, two at night. If I'm at home, I usually take all four. Don't do what I do. I'm grown. I take all four at night, and then I take my Unisom. So, she had recommended on one of my previous vlogs when I was saying I was having issues falling asleep. To take it so I bought some since I've been here and I feel like it works um so I took my unisom I took my ashwagandha I washed my bootay and now we are going to watch is it called house of dragons it's a spinoff from game of thrones I'm pretty sure it's house of dragons hold on yeah house of dragons we about to watch House of Dragons. Comment down below if you watch Game of Thrones. I don't care if you watch one episode, one season, all the seasons. I watch. I watched all the seasons, and when I say watch, when somebody finally put me on it, I like binge watched all of the seasons. And if I was at home, I probably would have rewatched them before now. But the way my life is set up. Here in the ghetto and work. I wasn't able to do that. So anyway. We're going to watch it. And then I'm going to probably come back. And comment about it. Without spoiling it. For those of you who are going to watch it. And then my plan. My plan is to try and do a 
YouTube Live. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. Please, if you enjoy my content, repost me in your Instagram stories because, girl, we're trying to go to the channel. We're trying to go to the channel. So I'm not coming across a lot of your friends that watch YouTube. They may not know I exist. So, girl, repost me on your Instagram story so we can grow the film. But my plan is to do a YouTube live. But right now, I feel like a lot. Not a lot. I feel like a lot of y'all that comment. Because a lot of y'all watch me, but a lot of you don't comment. But a lot of you actually that do comment, follow me on Instagram. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do a live on Instagram or YouTube. I really feel like I want to do it on YouTube because I want to talk to y'all. I like I want to talk to y'all. Y'all my friends. Y'all my boo things. I want to talk to y'all. But anyway, I'm saying this. I'm saying all this to say. I want to do a YouTube live, and one of the topics is gonna to be this first episode of. Queen of is it, why am I so slow today? House of House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. <laughs> That's gonna be one of the topics. We're gonna discuss it. We're gonna know what we're gonna talk about what went on and what we think is going to go on. I meant to do this with P Valley, but that failed. So we <laughs> we move, okay? We move on. Um so okay. I'm gonna stop talking to y'all because it's 9.49. I got to get back in the ghetto tomorrow. So let me watch my show and I'll come back. Okay, so episode one. If you're new, I'm a labor and delivery nurse. So the first 15 minutes. We all know if you watched it, my mouth was like, and that's all, that's, that's all I got to say. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Next, I'm putting all the pieces together from GOT. So this must be Khaleesi's mama. But correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below. Khaleesi had a brother. So I'm trying to figure out where the brother is going to come to play in what's happening now. Because this is clearly before her. It said 172 years before she was born. I can't say too much without saying too much. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. If you were new. And you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Everyone, please check. Make sure your notification bells are on so that you know when I post new videos. Share me on your social media. I love you all, and I will see y'all in my next video. Don't hate me if it takes too long. Bye.